situation in India. The conditions are so worse that if I write something on Facebook, people from my friend list would come up, castigate me. They will call me, you know, fake liberals or left ideologues, having no sense of what the government is doing for the benefit of people. They will start. They will start a text war on Facebook. They will humiliate your ideology. They will humiliate your ideology. They will humiliate your knowledge. They will humiliate your compassion for the people who are suffering. And this is a everyday reality. The conditions are so critical that I don't see people as people. I see people as programmed machines. And believe me, they are not people. There, there are a lot of things in power. Facebook came in. You, you guys must have heard about Cambridge, British or Cambridge Analytical, SCL, and other stuff. The present government, BJP, its war machine, the intellectual warfare, happens with Facebook. Uh, there have been news, certified news, it's not fake news, saying that BJP runs its IT cell from Facebook. What it did before the election was, it started something called psychographics. And the psychographic, what it did was, it, it, it actually tabulated people who are convincibles and non-convincibles. They selected convincibles. Do we have time to yeah, talk yeah. about it? Okay. So uh, these con convincibles started getting feeds about the benefits of this liberal agenda. They voted in favor of BJP. BJP became the one of the most celebrated political party in India. They came to power. Whatever they did was a result of a democratic process. They scrapped 370, 35A. It happened as a product of uh, as a product of democratic, you know, process. So ideally, it could not be questioned. Uh, now it could not even be questioned in the Supreme Court of India because this is what the elected representatives did. But what the, the picture that we are seeing right here, right now, is very different from what India as a nation state, Pakistan as a nation state, and other poles be it Russia or you know, USA, China, and other, other countries are bringing to show us. We have people, the, city, the, the citizens of Kashmir, because Kashmir was different uh, from the different territories of India. So it's, it's no harm to say citizens of Kashmir, if I'm not wrong. So uh, they had their right to decide. This, this right to decide was taken away. And this happened at the vertices of a lot of things, the geopolitical order, uh, China and India and Pakistan wanted want to uh, capture this territory. It happened on the name of development. We discussed a lot of things about how development became a forefront figure to encroach into these spaces. The government started saying the old debate of because of its spatial status, the people of Kashmir could not get development and its benefits. So it has the time has come that the development would reach these people. But unfortunately, the statistics statistics read otherwise. Even if it was sort of an excluded from the mainstream India, uh, the figures, the socio development indicators say that Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir has been doing pretty well. So there have been a lot of these fake tabulations, you know, people are feed with certain knowledge, certain news, and they have become violent. If you talk about uh, for the rights of people who are in Kashmir, you become their target. And the example of troll on Twitter and examples from Facebook are just few examples. I can't even talk to my friends. Ali knows certain of the things uh, that, that happened previously. But anyways, uh, right here, I mean, uh, I, I have just to summarize, uh, we had a nice discussion at the panel, uh, the, the, the panel discussion today. And what we came to as, as a conclusion is that India, as a post colony, it was a colony, it was a British colony. Some parts were occupied by other uh, European uh, countries, but majorly it was a British colony. From there, it has evolved. It's evolving as a paradoxical space where the right-wing government wants to implement one man, one leader, one nation, one constitution, one language, and maybe one religion. But this is a paradoxical situation to what's happening in India. India has always been a diverse society. There are a lot of counties, what we call it here, or states. They have differential relation with the nation state India. Take example of Nagaland, take example of northeastern states. Even take example of southern parts of India. 
Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh or any other state is not an exception. We see that when at one time the special rights of uh, Jammu and